Today, we're going to compare the Uni Power Tank 1.0 to a Fisher Space Pen. And both pens claim to be able to write upside down and through water, but the Fisher Space Pen cost much more. And as a bonus, I will be testing the Uni Power Tank 1.0 in writing through oil. The idea to review this pen came from a viewer in the comments section of our Fisher Space Pen review. So make sure you are subscribed too, and you can have a real impact in what we review next. So to get my hands on the original Fisher Space Pen, I had to order it online. And by the way, if you want to get either of these pens, I will be leaving them for you in the description below. But the good thing about this Uni Power Tank is that I found it was available locally. So it was just a matter of walking down there and picking up this pen for $4. The test that we will be using to compare these two pens will be writing through some water. Now, if you've seen the previous review of the Fisher Space Pen, you may be wondering, why aren't we doing an upside down writing test? Well, that's because we concluded that writing upside down is not impressive whatsoever. I have this 50 cent pen that I literally pulled for free out of a Christmas cracker, and even this could write upside down. We're not gonna bother testing that today. We're gonna get straight into the water test. So let's pour some water onto this page and make a start. So we are going to kick things off with the Fisher Space Pen because we know this should work and we're going to establish a baseline. All right, now Uni Power Tank, it is now your chance to prove yourself. The idea to review this pen came from a viewer in the comments section of our Fisher Space Pen review. User GigaChad said, awesome review. Try the Uni Power Tank too. It's somewhat similar. Thank you, Giga Chad. You really do live up to the name. And guys, keep up the fantastic suggestions in the comments. Uni Power Tank, it is now your chance to prove yourself. Can you keep up with a Fisher Space Pen which cost way more? Let's find out. Wow. So, the space pen, which appears to have blue ink, did have a bit of smudging, but it definitely managed to write and keep on carrying through. The power tank was also able to do so, but I will say that there is less smudging than there was with the Fisher space pen. So what are your thoughts? Is it worth getting a Fisher space pen if the power tank can perform the same in water? Okay, now smash that like button because here comes the bonus. We're gonna test writing through oil. So let's get some oil on the page. There you have it. Now let's test the Mitsubishi. Here goes nothing. Based on what we're seeing here, the Fisher Space Pen, as expected, was steadily able to write through the oil. It did slow down a little bit on the way through, but it came out stronger than ever. As for the Uni Power Tank, its first lap, it did slow down a bit, and by the second, it was noticeably starting to get less thick on its way out. By the third lap, it was quite weak. However, it did definitely make it through and keep on riding, though it did take a bit longer riding afterwards to get back up to its normal ink volume. Given the impeccable results in riding through water and given its supremely lower cost compared to the Fisher Space Pen, I would say that the Mitsubishi Uni Power Tank is a fantastic option in terms of bang for buck. What are your thoughts? I'd love to know. I'm going to leave you with our review of the Fisher Space Pen and also a review of the epic mechanical pencil showdown that you're not going to want to miss. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next review.